Hey guys, it's Mrs. Hacker here, and I am going to read you a story called Duck Soup. It is by Jackie Urbanovic. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley, and potato. Soup. This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la. This is going to be grand. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon. Red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, cracker barrel cheese and marshmallow soup, and way, way too many beans soup. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef, not Max. Now he was making his own soup, the soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would re be remembered for inventing. Slurp, slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right, thought Max. Max thought it over, a pinch of this, a pinch of that. Broccoli? Zucchini? Chives? That's it! It needs an herb from the garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be back to make you perfecto in uno momento. Smack! The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and Bebe walked in. Oh, what smells so good, asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Max! Maxie! Where are you? called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So, what's wrong? asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. Dakota gasped. <gasps> I think I know where Max went. Do you think you know where Max went too? I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? I'm sure he did. Call for help, cried BB. Help! There's no time, said Dakota. Max, Max, grab the spoon, yelled Dakota. That won't work, said BB. He can't hear you. I know, the strainer. Strainer? You know the big bowl with the little holes? Grab it! Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. That's only a potato, replied Brody. Eyeballs, his eyeballs, said B.B. Guys, 
That's only tiny onions, said Brody. His feet, yelled Dakota. Calm down, you two. That's only carrot slices, said Brody. Smack. They all looked up as the back door slammed shut. Who could that be? That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene, and you'll cook your perfect soup someday. Soon, she added. And it'll be great, said Brody. Really great, said B.B. We know you're disappointed, said Irene, but at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed, even Max. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the story duck soup, and hopefully we will get to come back together soon.